Okay, I just discovered this came out recently. Google Blocks. I am incredibly curious to see what this is like. <laughs> Ta-da! How about a quick tutorial? Sure. Let's learn the basics. Who doesn't like ice cream? Move the cone closer to you. Grip. Okay. How about another scoop? Switch to a sphere shape. Nice, <laughs> that's the one. Pile it on top. Now for the cherry on top. That's too big, size it down. Okay. Place the cherry on top. <laughs> Let's paint it red. Okay, pick up the paint brush. Paint. Flip for the red color. Oh, son of a gun, the colors are behind. That is cool. Oh, that is cool. Paint the cherry red. Your friend wants one. Let's make a copy. Choose the grab tool, trigger, and out. What? Trigger, trigger. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm a little slow. First, select everything. Click and hold in free space. Wave through everything. Oh, nice. Oh, I think selected. Copy the cone. <laughs> Place it next to the original. Your friend doesn't want a cherry. Asshole. Grab the eraser. Let's get rid of it. That's better. Congrats, you've got the basics. Can't wait to see what you make. Alright, we got the basics, huh? Interesting. Okay, so it's left me to my devices, huh? Grip is moving things. Both controllers zoom. Colors are behind. Okay, so let's look at these tools. Stroke, paint, erase, modify, grab, tutorial, grid mode. Ah, uh, that's cool. Now grid mode, everything seems to be floating with me. Why is it floating with me like that? Oh, my grip, <laughs> my grip was stuck, that's why. Okay. So grips do the whole world, not just one object. Uh, okay. Now I select the different shapes here. Cone. Size it up. Boom. Big cone. So you construct with these basic shapes. Sphere. Who doesn't love the sphere, right? Boom. Now once I have a primitive, can I modify? What's that about? Oh, shit. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, very cool. What, what's reshape, extrude, subdivide. Okay, <laughs> okay. This is getting interesting. This is getting interesting. Subdivide, I can subdivide that. I, oh, it's like the knife tool in Cinema 4D. You just choose the angle and it subdiv... Oh my god. This is pretty damn cool. And it's like pliers, so it's like it, you just think, oh, I want to grab some pliers and move these around. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is getting interesting. Let's, uh, let's uh, extrude the cube some... Make a really weak fighter spaceship or something. And then if I want to reshape, I could 
push these out. This is very, very ugly, obviously. Yeah, there, we have a spaceship. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> uh, let's... Oh, I can use an edge, not just a point. Let's grab the edge. There we go. There we go. Oh, man. Okay, the grab tool, and that's the one that lets me select multiple things. And then I can move them wherever I want. Insert stroke. What's that? Is that just painting? Oh, okay. It's painting, but it's a polygon. It's a 3D, it's a 3D shape. Uh, paint. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, when you pick a color, your primitive or your stroke will be created in that color, but then you can choose the paint tool and make it something else if you want. It does it to the whole, the whole object. Like you can't quite isolate one polygon. There's undo. Oh, there's undo. Great. Undo, redo. Very interesting. Now I don't know if I can export these yet. I don't know yet if I can export these. I hope I can to do more stuff in cinema. That would be great. Yeah, I mean, obviously I don't have any, I don't have any goal in mind here. I'm just kind of playing around. But the fact that you can change the vertexes and the edges, this is, Really interesting. Insert stroke, paint, shape, grab, erase. It's pretty simple, but it is, it is interesting. I like how simple it is. It doesn't have to be crazy complex. I wonder, I wonder what kind of things people have already created with this, with these simple tools. Paint. This guy, yeah, if only I could choose to paint one polygon at a time. I'm not sure of a way to do that. Interesting, very interesting. What's the menu all about here? Is this like a gallery? Yours, featured, liked, options. Add reference image, oh, interesting. I could sign in. What's featured? No? Nothing is featured, it's too bad. Stroke away, as it were. Oops, I meant paint, not create. Undo that. So yeah, when you create a stroke, it makes new objects so you can segment the colors, which is cool. Yeah, this is really interesting. Now what, if I go back to grid mode, will that, will that simply snap it along the grid? Kind of, not, not entirely. Yeah, if I wanted a perfectly straight line, I can't quite do that. I suppose though, if I wanted straight lines, I could just um, create a primitive and then I could modify it. And then, then I have a perfectly straight line. <laughs> so modify this down, down, Oops, undo. Modify this down. And then I could say, like let's say I wanted to create just a hollow cube for absolutely no reason. Where was the copy? Oh, it's copy and mirror. It's interesting. 
Let's select that, copy, flip. What if I flip it? Oh, yeah, that's not what I want. Select, copy. Okay. I'll put it there. And I would like it to snap to the grid as I move it. It's pretty free flowing. I can rotate it. Okay, that can be my guide. Right there. Yeah, this is going to be rough. It's not going to be perfect at all. Okay, good enough. Select, copy. I'll use that as a guide. To put there. Okay, <laughs> whatever. It's rough, but who cares? This isn't for a client. It's for me there. Now, okay, let's erase these guys. I don't need this stuff. Get out of here. Okay. Now I want to take all these, copy the whole group. Yeah. Rotate. Place. And now let's select everything. Copy, rotate, uh, this, no, hang on. <laughs> rotate this away. There we go. Boom. All right. <laughs> we have a hollow cube. I'm so proud of myself. Now, can I select everything and shrink down the object? Or can I only shrink the world? Seems I can only grow and shrink the whole world. I would like to kind of just smaller. Oh, smaller button. Is that working? It is. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Cool. And then copy or I need to select again. Select all these edges. Okay. Copy. All right. Yeah, these aren't perfectly aligned, but whatever. And then let's paint them. This is something I find really fascinating because I'm in a 2D animator by trade. Every once in a while I need to do 3D animation. It's pretty rare, but it happens. And my 3D modeling sucks. I just haven't been able to do a very good job at it. But if I could do 3D modeling in here and export an OBJ file into Cinema 4D, that would be really, really wonderful. And it seems like I can't export. Let's just make one more cube for the hell of it. Select everything. Copy. We'll just paint it orange for no reason. Paint orange. Paint, 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 paint. Cool. Yeah, I mean, I've only been playing this for, what, a few minutes or something, and it already feels intuitive. I feel like I'm already getting the hang of it. So if I save, sign in to save and view your model online. Save locally. Saving. Where did it put it? I'm guessing in my little library here. Oh yeah, I can load that. That's cool. Yours. So if I go back, I create a new file. It's empty. I can go back into my library, mine, load this one. Oh, oh you view it in 3D. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> that is so cool. I can open it or I can import it. Import it here and I can probably import multiple times. Import. I can. It's like a copy-paste. Oh, that is cool. Import here. And I select them, make them bigger. Wow. Okay, just a quick addendum to the recording I gave before. I looked on my hard drive and when I save a file, 
it indeed does save as an OBJ file with materials and everything. I was able to import it into Cinema and uh, modify it further there. So this um, already achieves everything I was hoping for. I could model in here and then move it into a real 3D app and then uh, continue modifying it there if I wish. So very, very exciting and pretty incredible that this is a free app. So, all right, thanks again. Catch you later, bye.